This episode of Bill Whittle Now is brought to you in part by The Patriot Post, America's news digest. We are grateful to The Patriot Post for their contribution to this and to the members of BillWhittle.com who have made this possible. Uh, Bill, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, with a net worth of roughly $70 billion, purportedly the fifth richest man in America, says Bernie Sanders may be right, that maybe some of his wealth is unreasonable. And Bill, I will say that, that Mark Zuckerberg is not sure exactly how much of his wealth is unreasonable, but he does say that uh, he doesn't know what the exact amount of money sh someone should have is. And I thought maybe you could help Mark Zuckerberg. Bill, what is the exact amount of money that someone should have? For me, I'd like to have enough money so that I didn't have to worry about things. That's pretty much it. But uh, needless to say, there is no certain amount of money. There is no ceiling. There is no nothing. The thing I find so unbelievably obnoxious about this story is that Mark Zuckerberg is, is spinning out these thought balloons, you know. Hmm. I've got $70,000 million. Maybe that's too much. If only somebody could tell me what an appropriate number would be. Well, here's a thought, Mark. I just toss it out there for you. And you can take this one for free, by the way. Why don't you start giving away money? Lots of it. Lots of it. Well, he live has your, pledged up, to give away 99% of his Facebook stock. How much does that come to? Uh, that's Dude. unclear. And it's unclear when. Okay. Yeah, that's the kind of that's where the flag gets in the ointment, isn't it? Is it, the part where the actual have to deliver on a promise? Uh, God knows, I'm still hanging out at LAX on a near daily basis, waiting for any number of celebrities to get on the, uh, the 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 latest flight to Canada. That hasn't happened yet, to my daily disappointment. But uh, yeah, it's one. So this so this is the point I was trying to make a second ago with um, with this whole kind of hmm kind of thing. I think when you get right down to it, Scott, I think that uh, upon quick reflection that this is, in fact, an exceedingly naked case of sheer braggadocio. I in mean, what sense? Because he made this statement, by the sure. way, on stage in, uh, it, during a, a regular Q&A that Facebook holds between him and the employees of Facebook. And the reason why they live streamed this one is because the previous one, uh, apparently some intern leaked the audio of it and heard uh, Zuckerberg saying some things about Senator Elizabeth Warren. But but Bill, he's standing up in front of his very employees and being as, as nakedly honest and transparent as he can to say, you know what? In fact, here's an extension of that quote. On some level, no one deserves to have that much money. Again, I used to suspect that this was just a form of, of braggadocio. And now that you give me the circumstances of him making the statement, I am 100% convinced of it. And it's not just braggadocio either. It's in your face braggadocio. It's screw you braggadocio is what it is. If I'm working for Facebook, which is not a pleasant place to work by, by most accounts, and not a particularly high playing place to work either. Certainly it beats working in a coal mine or doing real work, but nevertheless, if I'm sitting there and I'm wondering how I'm going to pay the bills on my on my uh, Facebook salary and the boss of the company stands up in front of me and a thousand other employees who are likewise basically just trying to make ends meet as everybody else does in this country working for whatever company. And if the CEO gets up in front of me and says, hmm, I've got $70,000 million. Maybe that's too much money. I wonder what I should do with it. What would your first reaction be if you were an employee of Facebook, Scott, if the if the person who ran the company that you work for says, I have more money than I deserve, what would your first inclination be? I, I would I guess I would ask the CEO if he could allow me the luxury of such a question about my own wealth. I would Yes, I would ask the CEO then if he thinks he's made too much money, why doesn't he start paying his employees a little more? And I think you find out, despite the fact that Facebook hires quite a lot of people, I think if you find 70,000 million divided by that number, you would see a significant raise on the part of the entire Facebook workforce. But this is obvious. This is obvious. There's no, any idiot can see this. What's not as obvious is what what an appalling, disgraceful, and disgusting display of dominance this is. And that's what it is. It's, it's Jeff Zuckerberg up there on stage 
beating his pathetic little thin chest with his. So you think Mark Zuckerberg is bragging about his wealth? Of course, by saying this? of course he is. Of course he is. Of course he is, Scott. What other explanation could there be for me to get in front of the people who are who who? who have made my fortune possible and I'm not blaming Zuckerberg for this. And I'm not saying those people need to get paid more. That's up. That's between the employee and the company. But for me to stand in front of all of my employees and say, you know, the work that we've all done together has made me so incredibly rich that I don't know what to do with all the money I've got. That is a deadly insult. And it's thrown right in the face of his audience and the way he's done. The reason he's done it, whether he realizes it or not, is it is a way for him to see who's the alpha male here. And he's not, by the way, it is a, it is an astonishingly insensitive and, and disgraceful thing to do, to stand in front of the people who work for you and tell them that I have taken so much money out of this company that I don't know what to do with it anymore. I think I made too much. Well, see, two of the candidates that he would probably be happy to elect in lieu of Donald Trump are um, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, both of well, whom so have, have uh, proposed progressive taxation, not on income, but on wealth of the super or ultra wealthy in this country, uh, you would think that he would be hearing footsteps behind him and would be a little more circumspect about talking about his wealth, wouldn't you? Uh, no. And we can answer this question by just making the math just a little bit rounder. We're not making big stretches here. We're just going to make the math a little bit rounder, probably look like this in a year or two or not. Let's say that you're Mark Zuckerberg and you have a personal net worth is $100 billion. You have $100,000 million. You've got $100 billion. And along comes a political candidate who says, I'm going to take 99% of your money away from you. If I were to say to you, Scott... Well, she's not saying were, 99%. No, no, she's no, no, saying no, I'm above say, a certain saying, threshold, I'm, I'm going to take 8%, it. let's say. I'm saying it. If I had okay. $100 billion and a politician said, I'm going to take 99% of what you have, I still have $1,000 million. Right. So this kind of thing. Oh, we should raise taxes. You know, I think I think the, I, and I'm going to pay more than anybody of all the people who should be screaming about low taxes. No, no. You take 99 percent of Zuckerberg's wealth away from him and Zuckerberg's life does not change by one dot. But how not does it benefit him to back a person who would do that? Because let's I mean, yes, he can spare it, but he probably doesn't want to. Look, Scotty, it's simple. His value system, unlike mine and yours, by the way, once again, uh, playing the part of, uh, of, uh, of ace reporter for the, for the bad guys, but your values and my values are the same and the same as every other conservative in this country. You are entitled to the reward of the work that you put into it. Mark Zuckerberg came up with an idea that changed the world. And because he changed the world, he has $70,000 million. And I'm not begrudging him $1 of that. If I thought that Mark Zuckerberg didn't deserve the money, I wouldn't, I, I would just simply stop using Facebook but I don't. So he's entitled to that money. But you ask, why would he say something like that? Is, is, is the entire point. He says something like that because it gives him permission to have 70 million dollars, 70 billion, sorry, seven. Well, it would seem to me, 70 Bill, billion dollars. If he wanted to have permission to have 70 billion dollars, he could get up and say something like, <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Hey, I was one of the guys who created something that absolutely revolutionized the world that's being used the world over, that has drawn communities right. together and families together and friends together, that has literally helped to rescue people in desperate situations, that has probably saved lives. I should be worth $140 billion, not $70 billion. Back off, Betsy. It, that's precisely what he should say. And that's what I would say. And I would go a little bit further and say, and by the way, my tax bill on a $70 billion net worth is putting quite a lot of funds into the coffers that is being spent on poor people by people like Elizabeth Warren in order to get elected. They're taking my money to buy votes from other people. Well, most of the money yes, they're but, taking but, is an income tax and, well, and of okay. course, sales taxes. But, you know, it's the wealth okay. tax is not yet in effect. No, but it will be, no doubt. So, yes, of course he should say that. Of course he should. And he believes that because, Scott, if he didn't believe that in his bones, he would have given the money away, which is why the whole thing is just, it's kabuki. It's theater. If you've got 70 million, so, 
If you've got $70 billion, you don't need to stand in front of a group of your employees and wonder aloud what you should do with all of this extra money. If you've got $70 billion and you do believe what Zuckerberg says he believes, you would have given virtually all of that away to charity and done some real serious moving. Uh, I've almost said good, but nevertheless, if it's charity, it is good, I think. So yes, and made a big difference. But the fact that he didn't is an indication precisely of why he is the perfect progressive. He's the perfect progressive because he operates like a conservative. He feels like he's worth the $70 billion. And he is. He is. He's worth the $70 billion. I don't like him. I can't stand the guy, but he's worth it. He did it. It wasn't there before, and now it is. And it's worth 70, it's worth more than $70 billion. That's his share of it. Fantastic. But he clearly believes that he's worth the $70 billion by the simple fact that he has it. If he didn't believe he had, it was worth it, he would have given it away a long time ago. So what Zuckerberg is doing is he is giving himself permission to have $70 billion. He, and that's all the progressive movement is. It's just a pat on the back from privileged liberal to another privileged liberal saying, well, yes, it's true. We both are multi, multi, multi millionaires, but we care about the poor people. And, and I just said so. So therefore, it's okay for me to have my mansion because I, because I care about the poor. I'm not going to give them any money. I'm not going to voluntarily give them any money. God, no. But well, someday, I say, someday I'm going to give them each I a share say of stock. I care about them. And I vote for a party that says it cares about poor people, no matter how many people are being murdered on any given weekend in the sewers and, 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 uh, and death pits that they've administered in American big cities. So it's easy for me to get up there and say, gosh, I think, you know, I have to tell you, I think, I think I, I, I think I really am living up to my progressive ideals when I say comes a point when you've made too much money. I don't know when that point is. Uh, but I guess at some point, somewhat north of $70 billion, because he hasn't actually, in my uh, estimation, given away enough of that money so that this is no longer a problem for him. Mark Zuckerberg, you have just won, by the way, you've just won the world trophy for the enunciation of the biggest first world problem in history. I've never, ever in my life, and I don't expect to ever, ever see anybody beat you by complaining about having $70 billion. I think, I think you take the cake and I think the competition needs to be closed out of respect for the contestant. Bill, I'd like to end this episode um, with a little sort of speculation on your part. Um, I'd like you to imagine a group of wealthy people, maybe corporate CEOs, investors, entrepreneurs, uh, inherited wealth, whatever it is, a group of wealthy people publicly standing up for their right to be rich in a time like this. And Bill, what I'd like you to do is give them a message. What is it that they would say, instead of cowering behind their high walls and, and you know uh, electrified fences and security cordons, instead they stand up and, and, and they make a statement about their right to be wealthy in America at this time? I will preface this, I will, I will answer that question directly, but I will preface this by saying that the only person that I have seen in 20 years who is proud of having made a lot of money is currently president of the United States of America. So this theory is not a bad one uh, in terms of evidence and experimentation. So far, it's one and oh. Um, I would say simply this. Money is not wealth. Money can buy things, but money itself is not worth anything. Wealth is something that's created that improves the quality of people's lives. Maybe it's a diamond ring. It's pretty to look at. Maybe it's a farm that grows corn for people so they can eat. It doesn't matter. It is, it is, a, it is a property that makes human beings happier and that they value. I would say to people who are wealthy like the people you might have described, your wealth is a fraction of the total wealth you've generated. And you know this better than anybody. If Mark Zuckerberg is able to take $70 billion out of Facebook, then it doesn't mean that Facebook has a total net worth of $20 billion. It's got to be greater than that, significantly greater than that, because no CEO, no matter, and, and Zuckerberg owns Facebook in a way that hardly any other CEO ever owned anything. But nevertheless, 
If Zuckerberg is going home with $70 billion, then he's created more than $70 billion worth of value. He's created it. It wasn't there before him. You can say that thousands, hundreds of thousands of people had to be a part of it. That's true. In fact, billions of people had to be a part of it because they bought into it. But none of that matters because every single one of the other people who are not Mark Zuckerberg is replaceable by somebody else. Zuckerberg is the genius that thought up this idea that changed the world. And, and he has created more wealth than is possible to count. He's entitled to his $70 billion of wealth. He's entitled to whatever he can get out of it. And, and I would say to anybody, whether they own, whether they own Apple computers or whether they own the corner dry cleaning store, to remember that you do not have a gun, unlike the government, you do not have a gun to the head of the people who you do business with. You have no ability as a corporate businessman to coercively take money from people. The only way that you've amassed the wealth that you have is providing value for their money. And by the way, you have given the people who've given you money more value than what they expected because nobody trades down. I don't, I don't give you a hundred dollars for a $10 hamburger. I want a good price. I want a hamburger. I want to pay a dollar for it. And I want, I want a higher value. So if people have made the trade with you and they've given you a hundred dollars, that's because they perceive that the value they've gotten out of their hundred dollars is greater than a hundred dollars or else they wouldn't have made the trade in the first place. So. I would simply say to you, you have created something that wasn't there before. You have created wealth. It's yours. Do what you want with it. It's entirely yours. There are people who would want to take it away from you and especially beware of the people who want to take it away from you and give some of it to other people so that they can continue to have coercive power over you. But you got everywhere you did through free choice, through offering and providing benefits that have enriched society. And for you to be ashamed of that is not only a, 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 a crime against uh, the country, it's a crime against the entire human enterprise. Well, ladies and gentlemen, speaking personally as someone who earlier this year traded up by deleting my own Facebook account, I will tell you that I did trade up in the sense that I have now read a lot more books this year than I normally would get a chance to read because I wasn't scrolling endlessly through Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or any number of others. Um, Narcotics. We are, we, what's that? They're narcotics. Yes, that's right. And uh, mm. although that said, we're grateful to the people who have finally put Facebook to a useful purpose by following Bill Whittle on Facebook and eventually becoming members at BillWhittle.com, for it is those members who have made it possible for us to conduct this enterprise. We're grateful to them and to our buddies over at the Patriot Post. We'll include a link to the Patriot Post in the description Absolutely. below so you can check it out for yourself. For Bill Whittle, I'm Scott Ott. Thanks to the members for making this possible. And if you're one of those people who think they have too much money. We have some ideas. Yeah. <laughs>